This short tutorial is designed to introduce the concept of the components, component manager and the working models within the Aspire software. You'll have read in the introduction to modeling document about the components, the component manager and the working model and here we're just going to give you a very quick overview of how they work. In Aspire all full 3D designs are broken down into smaller components. These could be something like this entire bunch of grapes that you can see on the screen or they could be the constituent pieces such as this leaf which I can select, I can move into new positions, I could even scale it up to a different size if I wanted to and really I can edit that in many ways just by literally dragging the outline. I could even take an individual piece like this grape and move it into a new position in the design to change the way it looks and to try out different iterations to see which ones my customer might prefer. These basically are all components. They're already parts that have been created within Aspire or they're components that have been imported from another software package or from the clipart library that comes with the software. As long as I have a component, that's no problem. I can do all these edits to it. I can even bring up the component manager, which allows me to select these and do some additional edits, such as decide how they combine with each other, to set their height, to fade or to tilt them, and even to change the color as we have here by making the leaf green and the grapes purple. At the point where I wish to create a new component or I want to make changes to the components which I'm not going to do to the whole object, perhaps maybe where I want to sculpt a couple of them together or maybe I want to add additional shapes to it, that's when the working model is necessary. The way, best way to think of this is almost like a three-dimensional collage. What you can see on the screen is my collage, but if I need a new piece then I've got to go to my workbench in order to create that to take over and add into the collage. The way that works in Aspire is effectively for me to take something like this outline that we've got here and to use the tools under the modeling section of the menu in order to build that up. The three main tools that work on the working model are Create Shape, Two Rail Sweep and Sculpting. For this example we're just going to take this shape and very quickly just generate ourselves a little shape. And that makes up that stalk. If I wanted to I could even go ahead and add some extra height to it. And this really is the power of the working model, the ability to keep making changes, to add to it, to now go in and sculpt to that, and even create other shapes to complement what I've already done. As soon as I've done enough within the working model so that I'm ready to create a new component, then I can go ahead and do that. To create a component, we just come down to the Make Working Model Into Component button. When I click that, it asks me for a name, so in this case I might call it something like stalk so I know what it is. I'll see that the grayscale on the screen changes from a yellow to a gray and now this is something that I can actually select and I can move around just like the other components in my design. And you can see that that does not relate to the original geometry. It's now a three dimensional object in its own right which I could change the color, stretch, size, scale, alter the depth or any of the other edits we can do on a component. The concept of the components and the working model will be covered many times over throughout all the tutorials that come with the Aspire software. We highly recommend you work through all those in order to see how these are used in practical examples. This grape bunch that you can see on the screen is actually one of the tutorials that's run through and you'll be shown how to build that from scratch using the tools in Aspire.